Dixie State post-game news conference after their 8-6 opening round victory in the NCAA Division II Regional. Joining us from left to right, Autumn Woodfall, Coach Randy Simpkins, and Michelle Duncan. Coach, take us through your bit of mastery and wisdom, putting Autumn Woodfall as a pinch hitter in the sixth inning, which ends up being the game-winning pinch hit home run. Uh, no wisdom, you know, um, wisdom or anything with that. Uh, she's just been nails lately for us. Um, whether we've had her in the starting lineup or uh, lately she's been coming in off the bench, uh, whether in the DH role, whether to come in and catch uh, or to play left field. You know, we have lots of options of where we can put her in the lineup late in the game. And, you know, if, if somebody is struggling or not having some good at-bats, you know, obviously we can throw her in the catcher, we can throw her into the DH role, she can come in to left field, you know, uh, or come in in a pinch hit situation. And, you know, we, we knew we had a, a pretty good chance of, you know, having a situation late in the game there where we could get somebody on. You know, wind's blowing out, you know, one swing can change things, you know, pretty, pretty pretty easily um, and when coach Miller and coach Buchanan and I talked about it about an inning inning and a half before that hey if we get in a situation you know where we got somebody on you know sixth inning uh, look at Woody and, and we've told her that for the last you know couple of weeks hey be ready to hit and you know we, and I told her that inning hey you're gonna hit for Josie this inning so be ready and she was hitting third so you know perfect timing you were forewarned you got to the plate you yes. got a 3-1 count take us from there um, my, the foul ball that I hit, she threw the same pitch that I hit out, which was nice, but, um, threw, threw a lot of in the dirt stuff, which is easier to lay off for me than it is up, so, just got a 3-1 count, looking for my pitch, threw me something in, and I took with it. Once it hits the, once it hits the bat, do you know automatically in that circumstance? Uh, that one I did. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, no. Michelle coming in in a situation where... Pack West Pitcher of the Year and Aaron Feichert struggled a little bit. You come in with a circumstance where they've gotten a couple of runs in. You need to come in and try to nail down the situation in the third. Talk about getting out, out of that situation and then how you kind of, I don't want to say cruise because in a regional you don't cruise against a very good team. Talk about your thought process going through the rest of the ballgame. Um, I had Aaron's back and that was the main thing I knew I needed to have her back. So I went out there. I don't want any runs to score. I knew I just had to get ground balls and the swings. And from then on, I just needed to get ahead. And Coach Simpkins, it has to be tough knowing that you've got the Pac West Pitcher of the Year out there and she's struggling and you pull her after two and two thirds. But it must be nice having the confidence of knowing that you've got a, a second team pitcher who's now 16 and one on the season with this decision, kind of weighing the wings if you need her. Yeah, when, you know, uh, um, I think the only reason Duncan's not the fact West pitcher of the year is because she didn't have as many innings. Um, you know, 15 and one coming into today is, you know, you just put up ridiculous numbers. Um, and she, she's been really good all, all year long. And they, you know what, her and Aaron really complement each other well. You know, Aaron's a screwball, you know, a little bit more flat and, and a lot of rise balls. Duncan throws the ball down a lot, uh, good change, and, and got some swing and misses on a rise ball. So they complement each other really well. It's, it's a great contrast. So, that, you know, when you bring somebody in, they're seeing something definitely different. Um, and, and we knew, you know what, you got runners on second and third with no out or one, no out. And exactly what she said, you know, you need a ground ball or a swing and miss, you know, trying to keep the ball in the infield, don't, don't get it in the outfield. And, and she did that. And you know what, if, if you know, if the, if the little chopper back to her is a little lower, they don't score, they don't score any runs there. Um, so no, she did a great job to get us out of that anyway. Coach, if that was a regular season game, what have you maybe thought about sticking with Fiker? But this being postseason like it is, would you have a shorter hook? Probably, probably not. Regular season, we might have brought Brooklyn in right there. Um, and start her in, in game two, but um, very similar. You know, and Brooklyn's a little bit the same. You know, hardened down, hard curve, and a decent change and an okay rise. So, you know, similar contrast with Fikert with both of those two. So, uh, you know, and, and Maddie Snow's the same thing. Drop, change, you know, curve ball down. So, you know, all of them, all of them complement Fikert pretty well. But yeah, we'll probably go to her quicker in the regionals than we would in, in a regular season game. What are your thoughts on tomorrow? Uh, any thoughts on you might start tomorrow's game? Or uh, We've talked about it a little bit. I'll, I, I'm probably not going to divulge that right now. 
Uh, well, I've already talked to these guys about it, but uh, the one thing that we have to clean up against San Diego is just keeping people off bases. You know, they're real aggressive running. They'll squeeze with two outs. They'll run second to third with two outs. Uh, you know, to the point that they could run themselves out of the inning if you do things right, if you take care of the ball, if you play catch. Uh, but if you don't, man, they may make you look silly. You know, they, they put some runs on Humboldt today that Humboldt shouldn't have given up with some errors, and, and, and their team speed, you know, causes you problems. Michelle, being, you know, coming in in relief like that, what was going through your mind? Was it just one at a time, just take it one pitch at a time? I mean, you obviously had good stuff. What was what was the go-to pitch most of the way? Um, probably my curveball and my changeup, just because Aaron doesn't have like a changeup off speed, so I knew that they weren't, you know, looking for that. So. Coach, I know you only take one game at a time. I'm sure you're expecting humble instead of San Diego tomorrow. Does that change anything? I no, it would be because of the past history with those two teams where Humboldt had won, what, how many in a row against them, you know, yeah, you, you would figure, you know, that Humboldt would probably, and they're swinging it really well right now, uh, you would figure that we'd probably get Humboldt, but you going into it, as soon as San Diego started to get some people on base, and you could see their confidence go up, yeah, anything happens in a regional. You know, Cal Baptist got beat, what, 13-1 to one today? You know, you would never think that happens. That pitch at home run, I mean, in your career, Pee Wee's all the way up to now at Dixie State. I mean, where would you categorize that as your biggest moments? Um, it's up there. It's <laughs> it's a clutch hit, but for some reason that's just where I thrive. I absolutely love being that one person that needs to get the job done. That's where I thrive the most, so I get put in those situations, and I more, more than not, I come through. We, we talk a lot about situational hitting, being able to move runners. You know, you got a situation, you run around third less than two out, you gotta get you gotta get a ball in the air, you know. Uh, pinch hit situation, you gotta keep people going, you know, and she's getting us to Bailey Freeland who's hitting it well and Chavi's hitting it well, so her job is to try to turn the lineup over. So they did a great job. Was there any talk in the locker room in, in the time between the end of the game and now? from some of your upperclassmen saying, hey, we get UC San Diego again. Two years ago, you're up in Monterey Bay, you're in the driver's seat, you lose a tough game there, and then you get boat raced in the second game, unfortunately, to get knocked out of the regional. Is there any, hey, we want this game badly? Yeah, every, uh, yeah San Diego knows it just as well as we do. You know, they're, uh, you know, they're, we're a foul ball this far away, away from winning that regional, and they end up, you know, winning it. Um, in that second game, so yeah, they they know the history with us just like we do. So, congratulations! See you tomorrow at 11 a.m. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Appreciate it.